What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to the 4th in for Medicine Cavani player review. Play with the best at ufifa.com to get a discount on all your FIFA points and coins. Use the code TVM at checkout, the link is in the description. So this will be the final Edison Cavani review that I do until team of the season. Quite literally because I don't see the point anymore. I reviewed the 89, of course that's now been upgraded to the 90. This is indeed the fourth in form, but not the fourth special card. I think it's even the fifth or even the sixth special card that Cavani has got this year. Absolutely crazy stuff. I gave the 89, or indeed the 90, a 10 out of 10. So... Is there really going to be any difference between that card and this card? Uh, the differences really are only sort of one point here or there. He does have an extra three points on curve and short passing, two on free kick accuracy, and that's pretty much about it. Interceptions plus four. Ooh, big whoop, like you're going to be wanting those. Uh, but still, the team that I used him in, it kind of um, changed up a little bit because I, I knew what to expect from him because I've got the 87 SBC version. I reviewed the 90 version. I have uh, I think I've even reviewed the team of the group stage version. So I knew exactly what to expect from Cavani. He's actually not one of my favorites, but he is, you know, he's in my top 10 players on FIFA 17, I would say. So I knew exactly what he was going to offer me. I knew how to play with him, brought him on as a sub now and again, chopped and changed the team around him as and how I needed. And he played exactly the same in whatever side he was in. Angel Di Maria getting involved there with a great effort, but obviously needed the assist from Cavani. Um, he's just an all-round fantastic player. Great acceleration, great sprint speed, dribbling, ball control, finishing, everything you could possibly want apart from... The obvious, the skills, yes. He's still got three star, three star. I still stand by my judgment that EA should improve the weak foot or indeed the skills should the player perform uh, the skill or the weak foot move in the game. Uh, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of that down below. Of course, it would only apply to the inform that they got. It wouldn't apply to all of the cards. This is my favorite finish, though. I really didn't expect him to score that. He took a touch, which I didn't expect him to be able to make. And then I thought, well, the goalkeeper's going to save this. And bang, back of the net. And I actually clapped. I know, I'm sad. So, pros, there was only enough for four. I could have easily fit 28 on there. I mean, nearly every single stat that he has is in the green. Apart from balance, marking, slide tackle, and long passing, everything else is green. Which is just ridiculous um 2372 total stats which again is absolutely phenomenal and this guy has a team of the season to come what can they honestly right what can they improve he's already got 88 long shots and 84 strength everything else is well into the 90s i mean 99 stamina 99 jumping um he's got 95 finishing and you know yes they're gonna go up to 99 but realistically the long shots the strength and possibly the acceleration the only thing on that team of the season card that can improve and you will feel an improvement with crazy he's actually below 200k on xbox right now as well which again just blows my mind the question a lot of people are going to ask is i've got the 90 is it worth spending the extra 40k or more, 50, 50k, to get this 91 rated version of the card? If you are hyper competitive and you, you know, you're the type of person who buys a 1 millisecond response time monitor over a 2 millisecond response time monitor because you want that cutting edge, then yes, you are going to need to go buy that 91. But if you're not that sort of OCD about it, then the 90 really doesn't feel that much different to the 91. Maybe now and again you might sort of feel that his his passing is slightly more refined with the 91 than it is with the 90. But generally, just save that 50k, go improve something else and stick with the 90. Very good card. I really did enjoy myself, but there's not really any reason to pay the extra 50, 60k. That's my opinion. If you've used the 91 Cavani, let me know down below what you thought of it. If you've used both 90 and 91 and you've got a comparison theory, let me know down below. If you have enjoyed this review, smack that like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. And until the next time, goodbye.